Hello everyone, um, welcome to the last installment of the Trilby games. Uh, this game is called uh, Six Days of Sacrifice. Yesterday, I saw the body of the bridge keeper engulfed in flame. I saw the bridge created by one third. Tomorrow, I saw the soul of the bridge keeper reduced to ash and saw the bridge created by two thirds. Today, the mind of the bridge keeper shall meet with its destiny, and I shall see the bridge extend between the realms. And the many children of the king shall leap and dance and sing in his name, for great is his wisdom and his benevolence. The book of the bridge. If you get the special edition I got, uh, you get the book of the bridge. I should have done this the moment you came into the world, demon child. May God forgive me for having a part in your creation. So here we see a flashback of Five Days of Stranger and a forward future vision of us, or uh, the imposter at the spaceship about to throw John Defoe's soul into the fire. And Yahtzee made a comment that there was no talking in the space scene, but there was so much talking in the uh, Fight It's a Stranger flashback, and he kind of regrets that, but here it is, you know, so. Time to put an end to the horror I unleashed. Oh, what are you doing, father? Father, no! Boom, shaka laka ma Boom! Boom! Shoot him! And then they slow it way down, like, Matrix style. And notice that in the space scene, he's getting ready to toss... Toss the spirit. Yeah, there he goes. Toss it. Slow motion, like, Pshhh. there it goes. It's getting ready to burn. It's getting ready to explode. It's gonna, yeah, yes. Oh, what's going on? A hundred ninety-six years later. A hundred ninety-six years earlier. So we are right smack dab in the freaking middle of this ophthalmology. Ophthalmology. Left click to walk. So we've come back to the. uh the mouse instead of you know instead of just typing everything left click to what what is that what's that what's this some woman's magazine put here to help visitors pass the time I guess we'll take it I'm not the right demographic uh, excuse me you don't have to be a woman to enjoy a woman's magazine you know that right what's this computer let's go look at some porn it's turned off and password locked anyway so far what are we who are we who who the fuck are we who who are we elevator let's go let's go what are we i don't see any call buttons probably scans automatically for security oh we in the future that's what that's what's going on we're in the future okay fine let's just pick up this pamphlet here I'll add it to my journal. Oh, you're so clever. To reread items in your journal, click the journal button on the top menu. Okay. Life becoming a struggle? Need a quick gu a guiding hand? Want to be part of the world's fastest growing family? Ophthalmology is a religion catered for you. Taking the best parts of all previous religions to make the great new way of thinking. Join ophthalmology today. Hey, look, a bastard. I mean, a guy in a rib. Are you Mr. Garriott? Get out of my way, you fool. Oh, he is a bastard. Mr. Garriott, I'm from the city council. What? My name's Dekebe. I phoned you a week ago about running an inspection of your facilities, your bathrooms. Oh, yes, I remember. The council has been informed that you may be extending your premises without planning permission. I just need to take a look around to make sure you aren't. Uh, is, it, is it completely necessary? Uh, it's just a precaution, entirely routine. Could you come back another time? Well, actually, no. I'm I'm busy. I have to get this done before the end of the week, and this is my only free time slot. You're lying. Ah, see. Is there a problem? No, no, not at all, not at all. 
Oh, well, why don't I take you on up the elevator? We can tour the building. I'd be obliged. Oh, there. Ah, oh. ah, oh, that's cute. He's. What the fuck? Where's the? Oh shit! He just pushed me down the shaft. What a bitch! Where? Is he... Where are you going? Hey, excuse me, sir. Oh, really? Really? Day one. Okay. All right, day one, July twenty fourth, A.D. twenty one eighty nine. So we are in the future. Damn. Okay, that's fine with me. I don't care. I told you I have no idea who he is. Then why should you care? I'm a doctor, for God's sake. Oh, it's a girl's voice. I s it seems terribly convenient. You don't think if he was our agent, we could find a way to get him down here without smashing him to pieces? <clears throat> oh, excuse me. A broken neck is not something I call convenient. Don't think me a fool. Hey, is that Trilby? He arrives now, of all times, and you insist it's a coincidence? What else could it be? He's awake. Oh, shit. Can you hear me? Do you know your name? Can you tell me your name? Uh, Dekebe. Theodore Dekebe. My name's Samantha Hardy. Oh, I hate the name Samantha. What's happening? How much do you remember? Hey! Stop talking to him. I don't want either of you saying another word until my employer gets here. Okay. This man is seriously injured. He has to be returned to the surface and taken to a properly equipped hospital. I will not tell you again. No one leaves, no one breathes a word until my employer tells me what is to be done. Okay, calm the fuck down. Jesus. Not a word. Troby is a bitch in this one. <laughs> okay, um, so what am I doing? What? I bounce myself gently to test the mattress in a jolt. Why would you bounce yourself gently? You just fell down an elevator shaft, you stupid. Touch her. Ah, oh, violate her personal space. Psst, psst. She looks at me questioningly. Uh, uh, fuck, 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 fuck. Point to the console. What is what is this doing? She shakes her head and mouths the word password. Uh, mouth the word password. She she shrugs. Point to the guard. She points at me, then mimes cutting her throat, meaningfully. Ugh, employer. She points at me, then mimes throating. What the? F a guard. Shrugs and shakes her head, indicating she doesn't think she can reason with or defeat the man. Point to the door. Yeah, what is this door doing? It's like... It's just shrugs. Okay. Uh... Desk. Hey! Get away from there, bitch! Fine. I don't care anyway. Okay. Well... Uh... What? Privacy screen. She has no idea. I'm done with you. What is going on with this door? Something is banging the door from the other side. What does that say? Looks like a memo. Bottom half is... How can you tell from here? What is that? Bin. Looks like it's been used to burn stuff. Let's touch him. Even if my neck wasn't broken. Well, I don't want to fight him. I just want a, t a tall, athletic man physically in his th early 30s. How does Trilby look like that if it's like... See, in 1997 was when he looked like that last. What the fuck is... Trilby is Trilby like immortal? Please! Quiet! Okay. Uh, uh. Uh. What's the matter? Now. His condition may still be degrading. The facilities here are very understocked. You think? I'm going to check him. Move over. Okay. Well, what are you going to do, man? What are you going to do? CPR? CP hey! Hey, hey! I take the slip of paper from his pocket while he leans over. He doesn't seem to notice. Trilby, I didn't think you were dumb. Where are you going? What's wrong with me? Am I okay? I don't see any problems. Besides, your neck is freaking broken. What is... Stop it. What? Oh. Just a slip of paper with meaningless sequence of numbers on it. That's what you think. Here. Take it. She palm it, she glances, nods, and pockets. What? 
what is she? I'm sorry, but what is under my my foot right now? What is this? What? What is this? Oh, I found a seashell. That's precious. Anyway, what? Okay. Um. Talk to this, this bitch. Look at me. Uh, now we can use the console. Hello. Okay. Privacy screen door. Um. Let's point to the door. Oh shit! Oh no no no. I don't like you. I remember you. Oh no. No. Ugh. No. What is he doing to him? Don't look. But what's going on? Don't look. What's he? Oh, he crushed his head with his hand. How do you? Looks like we're loose again. Can you walk? Oh, hell no. Just about. It hurts a lot. How much do you remember? Look, I'm just a council inspector. I was sent here to run an inspection on the building. Some lunatic upstairs pushed me down the elevator shaft and then I wake up here. Could you please explain to me what the hell's going on? <laughs> Thank you. You fell to the very bottom of the shaft. You are now within an underground laboratory complex. What's the... <laughs> ah! Ophthalmology is a front. Ooh, they're selling weed. Money making crowd pleasing facet to disguise from the true organization. Pot. Oh, cult. They call themselves the Order of Blessed Agonies. A bunch of masochistic freaks who worship some mad death god. Okay, so why do they have a laboratory complex? Do you mind if I ask? Why were you sent to inspect the building? The police told me they received a tip. The Optima, I mean, the cultists were building something. Since they don't have planning permission, I had to see if there was any truth to it. It seems there was. This complex isn't documented on any of our records of the site. I think you better talk to Janine. Uh, I have a feeling... You're the person she's been waiting for. Who? The other prisoner. She and I were, were were being held captive down here by one of the cultists. You mean the man who was guarding us? Where did he go, anyway? The man in the hat was just a mercenary. I think hired to guard the place. Joby, why are you doing this? Our captor's still around somewhere. Janine and I only just escaped from our cell this morning. We were looking for a way out when you arrived. <sighs> I don't know why I'm yawning so much. I'm sorry. I dragged you in here, and the guard found you. Found us. Well, we've got to call the police. We know can do till we get to the surface. Something's blocking our communications. Well, that's convenient. You guys probably have Sprint. But with the three of us against one man, we should be able to negotiate our way out. Janine's supposed to be finding us weapons. Okay. Find her. I apologize for placing a burden on you in your current state, but I have urgent matters to see to- What? So you're gonna make me walk around with a broken neck and a broken leg, I think, and why don't you let me see? Find Janine. Once the cultist is our hostage, I will have time to answer all your questions. Really? Really? Are you serious right now? Like... Okay. Well, oh, really? I'm gonna walk like a crippled person the whole game. Acolyte Garrett to Acolyte Duraven. Garrett, Garrett is that guy who pushes down the stairs. Our preparations are complete. Feel free to evacuate yourself and your staff when you have finished burning your records. But make sure Canning and the prisoners remain. Our master will also remain make his own arrangements. I will evacuate last when I have given the building and complex final inspect. Okay, I guess that's where it was burned. Anything in there? Nothing but ashes. Alright. Oh, check it out. Blood stain. Look at that shit. Was that there before? No! It was not there before. Okay, well, what's going on? Oh. Hello, spectacles. What? Pick him up. Put your. Are you serious? Watch out! Get him. One of the lenses is smashed, and the other is curved out of shape. 
I'll take the attack one and discard the rest. Okay, well that's convenient. So you're gonna be blind too. What is this bitch doing? I'm supposed to find who? Who am I supposed to find? What's in here? It looks like I got underwear on my head. Okay, well, I don't give a shit. What is this box doing? Stripped of everything useful. Okay. What's in here? Boop, 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 boop. What's in there? Barrel! <laughs> what is the barrel doing in here? It's a barrel. Petrol. A fire barrel. A petrol barrel. What's in here? Better not mess with them. Okay. Well, what's this say? Screen locked. Okay. Well, that's great. There's that door is locked, by the way, guys. I can't get in there. Locked. Okay. I mean the door inside the camera building room. Hey, 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 wait. Ah. Okay. We'll follow you. God, you walk so slow. What is this? It's a huge steel door, strong enough to be a blast door. There's a sign on it reading Central Hub. What the fuck does that mean? Go, go, go. Okay. What? Are you in here? Hello? <gasps> ah! Oh, hello. Sorry, I thought you were. Who are you? My name's Decay Bay. Are you Janine? You're not one of the cultists? No. One of them apparently dropped me down an elevator shaft. Dr. Hardy told me to find you. So you met Sam already. We are being held captive, her and me, for the last week or so. We are only able to get out of the cell this morning. She mentioned that. She said you would have found some weapons? Oh, sure. Here. Oh. You came from outside? Are they sending someone to help us? Uh, I wouldn't know. But they must have got my message. We have to take these guns to Dr. Hardy. Maybe then we can get out of here. Oh my god. Over here. What? Why? Please, just... But don't make me go out there. I couldn't face seeing him again. Who? The cultist? No. Anyway, you better get going. I bet she's talking about fucking Slenderman. I'm sorry if I couldn't be more help. Yeah, whatever. I don't like you anymore. I never liked you. Okay, what? We got the we got the guns. Look at these guns. Never had a gun in my life. They feel heavy and unpleasant. Well, uh, all right. Here, excellent. Now we certainly have the upper hand. The cultist is just through this door, motherfucker. All we have to do is secure him to the holding cell, and then we can negotiate our release. Okay, sounds good. Would you need me joining us? No. She said she was too afraid. Afraid? Odd. Well, anyway, we'll both take a gun. Even a man with two limbs out of commission can fire a gun. Excuse me, ma'am. You're being a bitch. Like, how do you expect me to do that? Turn around, so the canning. No sudden movements. Hardy. So, this is how your employment ends. With betrayal. Employment? Shut up! If there was any betrayal here, it was when you lunatics locked me up. We had no choice, Hardy. You refused to listen to reason. Notice how her last name is Hardy? Like Philip Hardy? Samantha Hardy? What the hell? Yahtzee likes his, uh, connections. For damn sure. Okay, we're locking him up. Oh, whoa! Truby. I thought he was killed. Damn you. Ah. Uh, you never understood, or did you, Hardy? There's no point in resisting us. We have God on our side. What the hell's going on here? Take him to the holding cell. I will... What the fuck? What the hell? Who? I am the caretaker. I am the guide. They are only unconscious and will awaken soon. Go to the sleeping quarters and seal yourselves in.
It is not wise to roam this place at night. But who are you? A friend. Now go. Okay. That's just weird. Sam! I'm sorry, Janine. They overpowered us. Oh, God. I can't take much more of this. I've got to give them different voices. When are they going to send help? Seems they did. Up, oh. Him? Why don't you tell Janine the same thing she told me, Mr. Takebe? Uh, I, I'm a council planning inspector. Someone tipped us off that the optim... I mean, the cult were building something. But they sent me to see if that was true. So you see, Janine, your call was answered. You sent the tip? A council planning inspector. It's almost laughable. But now there's no way we're getting out of here. Yes, there is. We're going to overpower Canning and make him escort us out. Excuse me. We tried that and it didn't work. We just have to keep trying. Will you please listen? I beg your pardon? Uh, I fell down an elevator shaft this morning. I'm tired. I'm in pain. I don't know where I am. And now all you've done is boss me around and make me walk around with a freaking cast on and evade my questions. I want to know what the hell you people are and what the hell is going on. What's going on? I apologize, Mr. Dekebe. But there was no need to shout. Oh, okay. Come, come on. Perhaps it's time to fill you in now. Sorry. Where shall we start? Okay. Okay. What? Okay, well, Mama. Mama, 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 Mama. What is this place? You're in a small laboratory complex under the ophthalmology building, which, as I have already said, is a front for the Order of Blessed Agonies. The complex is laid out around a large circular chamber they call the Hub. They definitely got something important in there, but neither of us have been inside. What is the Order of Blessed Agonies? They're an insane masochist cult who think pain is the answer to everything, and from what I've seen, they're very creative in the ways they inflict it upon each other. They worship some mad demon god called Kuzo or something. <laughs> Never even heard of them. I've heard of ophthalmology with all the celebrities that are members. Ophthalmology is just a money maker. It funds the true organization, the Order. They hide behind an acceptable front to keep themselves secret. Saying you want to hurt people to purify them causes a lot of concern for the authorities. Uh, so where are the cultists now? We don't know. They used to be all over the place. They started drifting away soon after they finished construction of the facility. Canning and the Hat Man are the only ones left as far as we know. It's like they intend to abandon the place with us inside. They haven't already. Who are you? I'm Dr. Samantha Hardy, related to Philip Hardy. I'm a scientist. I tell you what kind, but I fear it would go over your head. My name's Janine. I'm a freelance journalist for a couple of magazines. Many celebrity gossip stuff. How'd you get here? Oh, I wanted to do a feature on a magazine since so many celebrities have joined them. I was just having a little snoop about when I discovered this place. Then, of course, they threw me in the holding cell. Sam was already there. I've been doing a little contract work for the Order here in the labs. Turns out they really don't want anyone to know about the stuff they've been doing here. What kind of stuff? I prefer not to say. She won't tell me either. So you don't want to betray the client confidentiality? They threw you in a cell. That's not it. I'd rather take steps to ensure it doesn't get out now rather than regret it later. Please don't press the matter. We escaped from the cell a few hours ago, then you dropped in. Literally. As far as we know. Oh, well, well, well. Why are we being held here? Most likely to protect us. I mean, most likely to protect us. That, that was all. Why haven't they just killed us? Maybe they need us for something. I don't like the sound of that. I think only the cultists can answer your question fully. Who's canning? Is he the leader of the cult? God, no. Before the others evacuated, he answered to a guy named Garriott. And even he seemed to be subordinate to someone they call the Prince. Ah! Uh, ah! Uh, ah! Uh. I have never seen him. A better person, and I think he's just as much prisoner down here as we are. I think they wanted to get rid of him for some reason. But he's too dense to notice. <laughs> he's still following orders like a faith-blinded sheep. Uh, who is the man in the hat? I think he's just some mercenary hired to act. Is, you mean the guy dressed as Trilby? Who? You know, Trilby. Trilby, the dashing gentleman thief. Orgasm. I find out this will harm if it's serious. The defile man or murders. I'll tell her. I don't watch many movies, I'm, I'm afraid. Why would a security guard be dressed up as a cult character? I 
can't explain it. It's just ridiculous. They say Trophy may have really existed. I've read some newspapers from around the late 20th century. Oh, hello. How is that relevant? Never mind. Wow. Shot that down. Who's the man in red? I've never seen him before, not until just then. Who's this? He helped us get away from Canning and the guard. I've never seen anyone like that. Did he come in with you? No. I was just pushed down an elevator shaft, that's all. Good. So now what? Holy crap. Now we think of a way to... Oh. What? The door's been sealed with a time lock. We won't be able to open it until tomorrow morning. Who could have done that? Canning? I doubt it. The man in red told us not to roam the hallway at night. Presumably he has taken steps to ensure this. For crying out loud. I have to get home. I have to be back at work tomorrow. <laughs> That's a dedicated guy. We're all inconvenienced, Mr. Kebe, but whining like a child. Ooh, someone woke up on the wrong side of the bed this morning. I know, it's just, I know. We should take the opportunity to rest. We can discuss our escape in the morning. Okay, we can do that. Day two. July 25th, AD 2189. Why is the phone ringing? It interrupts my videos every damn time. Stop it! Okay. Ah. Uh, we're, we're gonna stop this. Ash, what the fick? We're not saving it as Ash. What the hell? We're saving it as Boom! Ah. Oh, boom. Okay. We're gonna save. Alright. We're gonna save there. Um, stop there. Uh, hopefully you guys, uh, it's kind of confusing right now, but hopefully you guys like this game. I like this game. It's not my favorite, but I like it a lot. So, um, yeah, I'll catch you on part number two of Six Days of Sacrifice walkthrough.